was said that he told her that I wasn't sharing everything that I was supposed to share with her and that I didn't want her to get the post because I was I was trying to sabotage her and you know it got me down it did because I mean everybody have feelings and me have a whole heap of feelings but you know it got me down and I remember I was I was just there doing my work and I know genuinely I shared everything I remembered with this young lady I didn't hide anything because one thing I said in that time while I was you know going up for the post I remember talking to God and I said God if it's for me then it's for me it doesn't matter if I share the whole world with her if it's not for her she won't get it and if it's not for me I won't get it Welcome back to my channel. I'm when you're feeling down and your mind is under pressure, don't you worry, cause I know it will get better. So speak life and it will turn out in your favor. Just wanna let you know that this will make you stronger. You know, see the house yet, claim it. If you know see the money yet, claim it. If you know see the land yet, claim it. If you know see the job yet, claim it. If you know see promotion yet, if you know see the business yet, if you know see the car yet, if you know see the hey. Hi, subscribers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanna thank you guys. First of all, for subscribing to my channel and for clicking the notification bell. I've seen that a lot of you have clicked your notification bell, so thumbs up for you. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please click that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Based on what I've seen, a lot of persons start their YouTube channel. Well, everybody starts their YouTube channel because they have something to share. No, and for me it's not it's not any different for me i started my youtube channel because i wanted um to share with everybody um the struggles that i've gone through um triumphs that i've achieved and you know um i just wanted my life to be an example to others to you know let them know that it doesn't matter where you come from or or it doesn't matter where you started from you can always be successful in life and i mean most persons people can say that success depends on what you make of it which is true and um each of us have our different um definition of what success really is so now that i've cleared that out um we're gonna go a little bit more into some stories so true story and this story is about something i went through at work um to you know I just want to say before I go into that story by the way don't let nobody stop you from going after your dreams um one thing I know and, and I'm a Christian I'm a Christian at heart I've been a Christian for years not everybody um, can stand up again um, when people try to you know deter you from reaching for your goals and reaching for your dreams um, there's something that I, I always tell myself and it's that you have to do what you have to do so you can do what needs to be done and I always go for my dreams um, it's not easy because once you start <laughs> once you start like you're going on the journey to achieving what you want to achieve <laughs> trust me you're gonna have so much so many roadblocks you're gonna have so many roadblocks um so many things try to stop you so many things that are going to try to deter you so many things that are going to tell you that you can't do it and you don't have what it takes to do it and anytime i hear stuff like that the first thing come out of my mouth is that the blood of jesus the devil is a liar the devil is a liar and if you don't believe in god um i can't force you but for those of you who don't 
and if you do believe in something greater than yourself i say trust in god that's my advice to everybody trust in god trust in yourself all right trust in your abilities all right so true story all right so this was about 2017 guys Karen is not good at dates and times I don't know how I function because I don't remember stuff. I don't remember dates. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes I don't remember. I, I think my mind is selective. You remember what it wants to remember. Ask my friends. They will tell you. They have to remind me like, um, can you, you remember say different? And then I was like, Ugh. <sighs> too many things on the brain, man. But yeah, so I think it was about 2017, if I'm not mistaken, when I was... Uh, um going up against or I will I wanted to apply for the supervisory the first supervisor position that was available in my department in my workplace and I remember I was going up against a friend because you know when you go to work you meet a lot of people they're their friends they turn your friends they turn their co-worker she was my co-worker and my friend and I remember I was going up against this young lady. She came in the service probably like a year or two after me. I don't really remember, but I know she came in after me. And we were going up against each other for the post. Mind you, I said she was my friend. Um, I remember I had a supervisor. And when this young lady got transferred to the section that i was in where the supervisor position was in i remember um i because i was because i was more senior than her and because i worked in that section before and i worked in the supervisor post before i acted in it um before we did the interview and you know acted together in it to get the post <laughs> government is one piece of something can't bother I would love to explain it to you guys but it's like uh, before you can get a post you have to act in it first for a period of time probably a month or two to see to get so you can get a feel of the post to see if you can operate and do the job and then you would go up for the interview against other persons who have also acted in the post all right done so she acted in the post I acted in the post and I remember while I remember before all the acting took place, when I finished acting in the post, it was her turn to act in the post. And I remember when she came to the section, I had to train her to act in the post. I remember that. I had to train her because I've acted in it before. So it so I was tasked with training her so that she knows how to complete the task of the post. Now, mind you, I I found it odd that two persons are going up for the post and one of the person had to train the other person for the post. Found it odd, but I did it anyway. And there was a supervisor I heard that he told me it was said that he told her that I wasn't sharing everything that I was supposed to share with her and that I didn't want her to get the post because I was I was trying to sabotage her and you know it got me down it did because I mean everybody have feelings and me have all heap of feelings but you know it got me down and I remember I was I was just there doing my work and I know genuinely I shared everything I remembered with this young lady I didn't hide anything because one thing I said in that time while I was you know going up for the post I remember talking to God and I said God if it's for me then it's for me it doesn't matter if I share the whole world with her if it's not for her she won't get it and if it's not for me I won't get it I always talk about how much you have to trust in God and I'm not saying it because I'm a Christian well may I say it because I'm a Christian but may I tell you I've lived through it you have to trust in God nobody else couldn't help you nobody else and even if i didn't get that post i would still be saying right now to you guys trust in god because he know what he's doing and i said i remember i said it to say don't let nobody um 
deteriorate from what you want to do because I got so upset at the person, the supervisor got so upset at the person. Um, I wanted to lash out, but you know, I asked God for peace because trust me, we didn't need peace. I needed peace, you know, and I remember I was so upset about it until um, I remember even one at one point he got he got upset in that same time he got upset in the office in front of everybody you know and saying i was lying and i wasn't sharing everything with the young lady and i said i shared what i remembered i can't share something that i never remember sir yeah and that's what i'm saying and i mean and it wasn't it wasn't to sabotage anybody i genuinely didn't remember one step in a task that i was supposed to do you know how i showed her how to do the task i didn't remember one step and he used me for getting that one step to say i tried to sabotage the young lady and i meant she was my friend and she actually believed him yes yes people she actually believed him and it was after all of that she came and she told me what happened and what was said you know and it's funny how people can try to tear you apart when you have friends that support you. i mean even though we are going up on the post she she was my friend through it and she supported me you know and then this person tried to tear us apart you know and um he got me really pissed he got me really upset and i just felt like my neighbor won't go work because him did it and you know it got me down but it didn't break me because i trusted in god and when the when everything is said and done i was successful in the post and before i got successful i just want to make this point one day i was driving to work and i was talking to god about the whole situation because guys when i tell you i was bitter you know but it bitter I never like him. My God, work. My, hey, him, him, him not dead. No matter how he must supervise me, I don't see him. It's like him non-existent to me. You understand? If he might walk on the right, me go on the left. Cause me not like people who stay so. I don't like people who try to keep other people down. Me not like people who bad mind people. And speaking of bad mind, that is another topic. You understand? So I remember driving to work. I mean, I talked to God about the whole situation. Right? I was talking to God about the whole situation. And you know what God said to me? I was driving, you know, you know, just to talk to God. And, and I was talking to him about the whole situation. And God said to me, like, if, what I know here, God just said, love your enemies. People, I was driving. I must, I met, met, met them say, what you say? What you say, God? I need to do what? God said, love your enemies. And God, me talk ball. Me a drive on me a ball Cause and when him still love your enemies, you know, and one person face me I see and it was that supervisor. It was God knew him was my enemy. He was my enemy. It hurt me when God tell me say me need to love my enemies. But you see when God talk to you, you better do it. Me no say me no for ramp with God when him tell me for do something. So it was hard hard for me to love that person i may gonna be honest god no i don't know if i love him but i forgave him and i remember after that conversation with god I go to work and i talk to him like saying no never happened i genuinely forgave him i genuinely forgave him it's like mm. but i talk to him like nothing never happened and you could see the shock on his face when him sister me I talk to him. Him did shock. Cause remember I tell you I wasn't even talking to him, never have conversation with him. If him give me work for him, give me work for when I eat that. So I don't have a bag of chat him. So he was shocked. So I say this to say guys, um don't make nobody stop you from reaching for your goals. No matter nobody try to tear you, no matter what them say about you, no matter what them do about you, cause people make the talk. If you do good, they never talk. If you're not do good, well, then still have a talk. You understand? Don't make people deter you. If you have a goal, reach for your goal. Reach for your goal. Don't make nobody stop you. I believe there's a room at the top for everybody. Everybody can buy a house. Everybody can get a promotion. Everybody can buy a car. 
everybody for your driver care as far as me see it. Every single soul. Everybody must can have money in them pockets. Everybody. Me not see why people are fighting down people. I don't know why. But you know, trust in God. Because what is for you will always be for you. And nobody can take it from you. Nobody can take it from you. So my channel is all about motivating people and that is what I plan to do with my channel. Motivate people. So if it's in my post something, what me go through or what I achieve, it's not to boast or anything. Oh, that's another topic too. It's not to boast or anything, but it's to motivate you guys that are my subscribers to let you know that you can do anything you put your mind to. Anything you plan or anything you want to achieve, you can achieve it. Just get to it get to it guys well that was my story time for you guys um yeah so thank you guys again for subscribing thank you guys for watching this video remember to subscribe and if you know somebody that needs some little motivation send them a link to the channel tell them to subscribe i will be sharing tips on here how i do what i do mind you guys I know every time them work but i never stop trying so if you want to watch somebody try something first <laughs> well i guess you can always drop in here i'll share with you guys how i do what i do i'm at a good point in my life based on what i believe that based on what i set out that i wanted to achieve yeah and so i believe you guys whatever it is you set out to achieve whether it is finishing school um whether it is um <coughs> starting a new job whatever whatever you guys think you can achieve it so thank you guys see you soon bye when lessons over me lessons will run over when lessons over me lessons will run over double the ocean double money double the care double the family when lessons over me